Hello, it's a new show, it's Talking Transfers. I'm John Gibbons and I'm joined by Paul Ghost and we're going to bring you uh, a weekly roundup of the transfer news. Uh, we're in the wonderful uh, Dovedale Towers, uh, we're in the beer garden of the Dovedale. Uh, they've got a great setup around the corner showing all the Euros and so on. Um, yeah, get down here if you're South Liverpool boys uh, like me and Paul and you want to enjoy some sunshine and some fuzzy. Are you into the Euros? Are you enjoying it? I am so far, yeah. Yeah, that uh, makes a nice change from VAR, ruining pretty much every game, doesn't it? So, uh, so far, so good. I would say it's nice to watch. Uh, a bit of footy without as much on it but I think there's going to be a lot of Liverpool fans tuning in for Germany tonight yeah. hoping to see a little bit more of Florian Neuhaus who's someone who's been heavily linked with Liverpool and there seems to be a little bit in this one It does, yeah uh, some reports last week wasn't it from Germany that um, Liverpool have made contact with his agent or his agents and um, basically very tentative early discussions about a possible transfer. Um, a couple of, of German Sport One reporters, I think it was, I think they were saying at the time that the two clubs haven't made contact yet and, and that does seem to be the case. But uh, certainly someone who Liverpool are looking at and um, you know potentially filling that genie and Alden Boyd, as it were. I mean, we know how important he has been for Liverpool for the last five years, probably more so than ever last season when he, he played 51 times. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, Liverpool are exploring the options in terms of uh, looking for uh, one other replacement and um, Neuhaus seems to be someone on the agenda, yeah. Yeah, it looks a really good player. A bit of confusion, uh, Paul, over his, um, his release clause. Mm. So what's your sort of understanding on that? Because I heard he did have one and then I heard that it expired, but that Liverpool didn't necessarily mind that because they felt that negotiations with Munch and Gladbach could be had. Yeah, it does seem as though there was a €40 million Euros bio clause in there that has elapsed. Um, and we know Liverpool. We know when, when they see a bio clause, they're normally quite sharp to, to trigger an anti look at Ibrahim Akanate with his 36 million one recently and Takuni Minamino, which I don't think many people knew of. I think Michael Edwards, uh, his relationship with the Red Bull group, which I'm sure we'll talk about a little bit further. Um, I think he unearthed that one, didn't he? And, and not a lot of people knew about it. So when there is a bio clause and Liverpool are interested in a player, it does seem to be generally of, of, of recent uh, last few transfer windows that uh, they're keen to activate it. but. Um, it does seem as though this one has elapsed, but um, what, what's, the, what's the premium on, on top of Neuhaus when he hasn't got his bio clause? We're not too sure, are we? So um, I don't think it's, it's possibly going to be a player who's going to go from 40 million to 60 million euros yeah. because of that bio clause. So um, maybe Liverpool still think that uh, there they can, they, they can be some kind of wheeling and dealing to be done. The problem is, though, he knocks a couple in in the Euros, yeah. do you know what I mean? Some yeah. of them long-range belters that we've seen he can do, and then suddenly uh, even Michael Edwards has got yeah. his way cut out. Yeah, I mean, I, I think with Liverpool, with, with their transfer targets, I don't think they're going to be overly influenced by what happens in the Euros. I think the... They might influence the price as well. Yeah, it will influence the price, no question. The Liverpool will be keeping the fingers crossed that he has a bit of a quiet one, <laughs> won't he, and doesn't get off the bench. But, um, yeah, Liverpool's homework's done, you know, a year or so in advance in terms of transfer targets. Yeah. and. Um, they will be quietly open that Neuhaus goes through the Euros without too much of, um, you know, doing too much, shall we say, and the, the, the price remains as it stands. Yeah, well, we'll see. What's your kind of understanding of, of priorities this summer for Liverpool? Because there's a lot of talk about it, isn't mm. it? Is, is, you know, is essentially a field of priority you just talked there about replacing Wijnaldum. So is that what Liverpool are focused on? Or is it from three options? Or, or is it a case of it's more that they're looking at the players? And is it more a case of, well, well, these are the players we'd like. You know, if we can get one of these, then, you know, they'll sort of, you know, worry about, you know, who's, who's covering mm. where later. Yeah, it's an interesting one, actually, because what, uh, the, the, what you're hearing at the moment is the contracts the big priority for Liverpool, so when yeah. they return to pre-season, it's going to be Fabinho and, and Alisson, they're, 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 the, they're the two at the top of the list, if you like, and then Virgil van Dijk, Mohamed Salah, Trent Alexander-Arnold and, and Andy Robertson, and it does seem to be a concerted effort to keep this team together for, for longer than it already has been, so that, from what, what we're understanding, is, is the priority, but um, Liverpool need to add to what they've already got. I mean, it's great time down the, the star men for, for the next two or three years, but um, I think Liverpool do need to, to kind of refresh, don't they? And I don't think it's a case of um, you know massive kind of overhauls and you know um, transforming the squad. I think it's just a case a little bit similar to last summer where Thiago yeah. came in. Um, that was a little bit of an opportunistic one with his contract situation, and Jota was very much a forward-thinking one, wasn't he? For the for, for years ahead down the line, mm. I think he's 23, 24, and Liverpool are going to be kind of looking at similar kind of age range just to uh, to, to top the, the, the squad up that they've already got so um yeah it's uh, contracts does seem to be the main one but liverpool will always be looking at, at players who can come in and, and as we say that there is a wine album shaped hole in the squad so um florian neuhaus one of 
one of a few I'd imagine who they're keeping tabs on at the moment. Hello Reds, thanks for watching a preview of our video there. If you want to watch the full thing, just click join below and you'll get the full video as well as the rest of our premium package, including all you need before and after every Liverpool game. We'll throw in a few perks too, including discounts at the Anfield App Shop. Get in! So click join, get involved, see you on the other side. Up the Reds.